Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to lay laminate flooring. There are various different types of laminate flooring, so make sure you follow the pack guidelines when laying your specific floor. Fitting a laminate floor can really improve the look of a room, but if you've been putting it off because you thought it was too tricky, then stick around and we'll show you just how simple it can be. And even if you've done it before, we've got lots of handy tips to save you time, money and bruises. Make sure you've watched our preparation and underlay video before laying your laminate and you'll be ready to start laying your first board. A handy tip at this stage is to make sure you let the laminate packs sit in the room for at least 24 hours so they can acclimatise to the temperature in the room. To lay your flooring, you're going to need some basic tools. A floors to go fitting kit has all you need to lay your flooring. Otherwise, you'll need a rubber mallet, a pencil, a tape measure, safety goggles, a dust mask, knee pads, spacers, a pull bar, a drill, wooden drill bits and either a saw, a jigsaw or a guillotine depending on how you're going to cut your flooring. We're good to go, so let's start fitting. Get your first piece out and check it over. It's a good idea to do this for every piece as you go. you'll see that one side has a tongue and the other a groove. Lay it down working from the left hand corner of the room with the tongue facing the wall. We're going to work across in rows but never in columns. So now take another piece and attach it to the first. Line up the two boards, put the tongue into the groove and slide them into place. Easy. Continue like this until you get to the end of the row and can't lay another full piece down. Now take a new board, turn it around and lay it in front of the first row and mark where the two meet with a pencil. Now to cut your first piece, you can either use a saw, a jigsaw or a guillotine. If you're going to cut with a saw or jigsaw, make sure you draw a line down the board so you get a perfectly squared edge. For laminate flooring, a guillotine is by far the easiest way to cut the boards. Line the board and the blade up correctly and then pull down on the blade to cut the board. Don't worry too much about having a rough edge to the end, your skirting or scotia will cover this. Take your cut piece and slide into place to complete the row. Now for the spaces, and use about two for every piece of laminate. These will make sure there's an adequate gap around the floor for it to expand and contract. Because we began row one with a full piece, we don't want to do the same for this row because the joints will match up, creating weak spots and the pattern can look wrong. So the best way is to cut the first board of row two, two thirds the length of a full board, just like this. Now we can lay this piece down. Insert the tongue into the groove at an angle, then push flat to the floor. Easy. Next, take a full length piece and put it at an angle into the corner between rows one and two. Push down until it's laying flat. And then with a rubber mallet, secure the two ends. For the third row, cut the board to a third of the length of a full board to give you nice, staggered joints. Keep working away from left to right, staggering the joints in thirds as you go. If you save your offcuts, these can come in handy for this. So now we get to the last row. Put the board you want to fit into position, measuring and removing any excess length as necessary. Then, with a piece of offcut, place it on top of your board and against the wall and skirting. Draw a line on the board you want to fit, remembering to leave about a centimetre for the expansion gap. Again, remove any excess as necessary and fit your remaining flooring. To cut around a radiator pipe, place your offcut in front of the pipe and mark on the top of your board. This mark is where the pipe will come to. Then move your board close to the pipe and draw a circle slightly bigger than the pipe itself. And now you're ready to cut. Drill a hole through the top of the board to the same size you drew the circle. Then with the jigsaw, 
cut down the length of the board. Flip the board over and draw lines at an angle to the drilled hole. Cut along these lines with the jigsaw, remembering to keep the piece you cut out. Now lay the board into place and it should fit perfectly. With the piece you cut out, put this behind the pipe so that it fits snugly. Continue along the row until your floor is complete. So that's it. All you need to do now is watch our How to Fit Skirting and Scotia video to find out how to finish it all off. Oh, and before you go, here's a very handy tip for getting around door frames. Get an offcut of the flooring and lay it flat on the floor next to the door surround. Lay a handsaw onto the piece of flooring and cut horizontally into the door surround until you can chisel it out. Alternatively, you can use an electric chisel, which is a lot easier. This technique gives you a great finish around doors.